up, gentlemen? So I got a quick question for you. If you think that other people respect you, why don't you drop me one of these to be like, yo, Alpha, people respect me. Now, if you don't think people respect you, I need you to also do something. I need you to bend over because you are about to get what, too much? Too aggressive? But it's the truth. If you are not respected by other people, you might as well get comfortable, hands on your knees, bend over, because life be like, who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Today, gentlemen, in an attempt to help you not get the business by life, I'm going over seven nice guy mistakes that make other people lose respect for you. The first mistake that nice guys make that make other people lose respect for you is that you are manipulative. And what I mean by this, nice guys have a tendency to do things not because they're just being nice, but because they think they're going to get something in return. Manipulative me? No, I'm just, I'm just a nice guy. That's why I'm always there for Brenda when she has problems with Brad to comfort her in her time of need. I'm just there to listen and to take her out to dinner and to, and to be her friend. Oh, I see. It all, it all makes sense. You're not actually trying to get in her pants. Gentlemen, come on. Sell it to somebody else. Everybody else knows that the nice guy does nice things because they are trying to get something in return. Gentlemen, if you are truly being nice, you give without expectation. The second nice guy mistake that causes other people to totally lose respect for you is if you stop hanging out with your guy friends for a chick. Sorry guys, I can't tonight. I gotta, I gotta help my uh, grandmother with that, with that thing. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you later. All right, all right, have fun. All right, see ya, bye. Janice, hey, it's Brian. I was thinking I'm kind of hungry. Do you want to go get something to eat? It'll be my treat. Like seriously, no, you got to wash your car. I'll wash your car. I know that the senorita may indeed be spicy. You might have a girlfriend for the first time, right? And you're like, yo, I want to please her. I want to do anything and everything that she needs and I'm always going to be there. Shh, stop. It's critical that you maintain your own independence, your own friends while you're in a relationship because ultimately when she breaks your heart, what are you going to do? Guys, hey, hey, remember me? Can I come? Can I? I want to hang out. Sure, they might let you hang out because they're super cool dudes, but they already talked mad shit about you and have all lost complete respect for you. Gentlemen, it is about maintaining your independence. You can have a relationship without being all up her ass. The third nice guy mistake that causes other people to lose respect for you is that you are way too impressed by pretty girls. You see a pretty girl and inside you're like, oh my God, this is amazing. She's amazing, beautiful. Oh my God, she's perfect. I love of you. you do realize that that stripper that's sitting on your lap at the strip club, she's she really she really doesn't like you. She's also not putting herself through college. Ooh, that girl Brandy from last night. I think she likes me. Like ser like seriously, she told she told me, gentlemen. She told she told you what she needed to tell you to get your dinero. The fourth mistake that a lot of nice guys make that cause other people to lose respect for you is that you stink your breath. Is it funky? Is it nasty? Does it smell like you ate a shit burger for breakfast? You have bo or you're wearing some type type of overpowering body spray or fragrance, gentlemen, like that is the thing. Like if you are wearing too much fragrance or cologne, other people are going to be a little bit offended. They're not going to want to get too close. They're not going to want to get up and smell you like they will if you're rocking rebel or hero. Gentlemen, if you are ready to stop smelling like her ex-boyfriend and all the other dudes out there, it is time for you to step up your fragrance game. Hit that link down below and check out Rebel and Hero, the new incredible EDP fragrances by Pete and Pete. We launched Rebel a few months ago and guys absolutely freaked out. They love the scent and it's probably because the inspiration fragrance was Creed Adventus, right? Creed Adventus is my all-time favorite fragrance. The amount of compliments I would get with this was ridiculous. I was tired of spending 350 bucks on Creed Adventus and so I went to my lab and developed Rebel. Now Rebel is not an identical copy. It's not a clone, right? It's a little bit different, but if you like Creed Adventus, you are going to absolutely love Rebel. The feedback was so so amazing from Rebel, we decided to actually do it again and developed our second EDP fragrance, Hero. Now, the inspiration fragrance for Hero is my second all-time favorite fragrance that I would get a ton of compliments. Every woman loves this fragrance, every dude loves the fragrance, and that is Aqua de Jo. And just like with Rebel, Hero is not an identical copy of Aqua. We've taken it up a notch, and in my opinion, we've made it better. We 
killed it with these two fragrances. Guys, if you want to smell amazing and not like her ex-boyfriend, you got to hit that link down below and go check out Rebel and Hero. If you're on the fence about which one to get, why not get both of them? We sell them as a set. And guys, they are different fragrances. And so one is a little bit lighter, a little bit more fresh. One is a little spicy, a little smokier, a little more sexy and seductive. But they both are amazing. Guys, here's the deal. I'm going to link both of them down below. If you buy them together, you're also going to save a little bit of cash. There's also going to be a discount code down below that works not only for Hero or Rebel, it also will work on Desperado. Desperado, if you guys if you guys like body washes, this stuff is the most amazing, masculine, incredible fragrance you're ever going to find. Guys, this is quite possibly the best body wash on the market, period. All right, the scent, it's got notes of tobacco, a little bit of rum, it's spicy, it's sexy, it's seductive, and people have been freaking loving Desperado. And if you're not ready to pull the trigger on Hero or Rebel, a big bottle, guys, we also sell the travel sprayers preloaded with both Hero and Rebel. They are refillable. Guys, everything is going to be linked and listed down below along with an incredible discount code to stop smelling like a nice guy. The fifth mistake that nice guys make that cause people to lose respect for them is always picking up the tab. This one is a tricky one, right? Because if you have a job, your friends don't, you're like, yo, I'm killing it, right? I'm going to treat, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to take you out. This is different than what a nice guy does. A nice guy thinks that he has to treat, he has to take people out in order for people to actually like him. When the reality is that a lot of the people that allow the nice guy to always pay aren't really his friends. Unfortunately, there are some really shitty people out there in the world and they will let you pay and they will take advantage of you when the reality is that they really don't have your back, they're not your friends, and they don't respect you. We teach people how they can treat us. And if you allow yourself to be taken advantage of all the time and you're always picking up the tab you're always offering to pay you're always driving you're always doing 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 you're making a critical mistake you're never truly going to know whether or not they're your friend or they're just taking advantage of you and they're just there hanging out because you're willing to pay guys you don't have to pay. Do not fall into the trap of thinking you do. Money doesn't buy friends. Money doesn't buy respect. The sixth mistake that a lot of nice guys make is they're not a man of their word. And what I mean by this, it's not that they don't want to do it. It's not that they don't want to try, but they overcommit themselves. They say yes to people asking them for things when the reality is they're never going to be able to achieve it. It's about being a man of your word. If you say yes, if you commit to something, you got to do it. You can't let them down. And last but certainly, Certainly not least, the seventh thing that caused people to lose respect for you is you allow your insecurities to destroy your confidence. Insecurities. You've got them, I've got them, I've got a ton of them. Even Spicy St. Rita's, they've got them. But the thing you cannot do is allow your insecurities to ruin and destroy your confidence. If you are insecure, guys, people can see it and people are going to take advantage of you and I don't want that to happen. you got to remember, respect, it starts here. you got to respect yourself. Don't do the stupid things. Don't do the self-destructive things that I see so many of you doing on Instagram and social media. Guys, it's about taking care of yourself. It's about loving yourself. It starts with you. And when you do, other people will see it and respect you for the man you have become.